Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 1 meal time. In this problem we want to implement a program that prompts the user for a time and outputs whether it's breakfast time, lunch time or dinner time. And if it's not time for a meal we will not output anything at all and we are also are going to assume that the user's input will be formatted in 24 hour time and the breakfast time is between 7 and 8 uh, and the lunch time is between 12 and 13 and the dinner time is between 18 and 19 and we are going to structure our program uh, per the, the the two functions main and convert uh, where convert will be converting our time which is going to be a string in 24 hour format to the corresponding number of hours as a float for the example if we have time like this to 30 uh, we should convert it to 2.5 so we will just divide this number by 60 since um, an hour has 60 minutes so yeah that uh, that uh, what the convert uh, function should return so yeah let's start uh, our uh, let's start with making the convert function but first Let's uh, here take input from the user. Let's make a variable called time and let's type a message, uh, for example, ju just time. Yeah, so and here we will call our convert function and let's pass in the parameter which will be time. So, yeah, let's now edit this function here. So let's first uh, split uh, our string here, which is time, uh, to two different values or variables. Uh, the first will be hours, and the second is minutes. And we are going to do this by using the split method, and we used it in the last problem. So time dot split, but this time we'll actually split according to the column. So, for example, if we have uh, this string here, which is the time, uh, we will split our string according to this colon. So, 5 will be assigned to hours and 20 will be assigned to minutes. So, yeah. And next, let's... Uh, let's, um, let's reassign, actually, our hours. But this time it will be um, float hours, and I will explain after I finish the statement. So float hours, and it's going to be added to minutes float minutes. But we actually want to divide this by sixty. We can add uh, this in parentheses and at the end let's return hours. But actually let's comment this line here and print hours just to see if, uh, if this logic is working. And if it's working I will explain what I did here. So Python. Uh, let's... Uh, at the time so yeah this, it's also working uh, 4.5 uh, and the reason uh, I did this logic is because we need to convert the minutes into uh, the equivalent hours if that makes sense so if we if it's 30 minutes that's uh, half an hour which is 0 0.5 so that's why I converted this to float first because here it's a string 
so I converted uh, both of them actually to float and here I divide the minutes by 60 so here after this is evaluated we have the hours uh, stored in the hours variable so let's move the print function and uncomment this line so we will return hours so we need to assign the return from this function to a variable let's call it uh, let's call it c time for example shorthand for converted time and now we will just make uh, some if statements uh, to see what we will going to print according to the time provided by the user so let's start with the breakfast time so if c time which is converted time it, if it's um, okay let's see if it's uh, more than or equals to 7 and uh, converted time is less than or equals to 8 this should print breakfast time okay let's move on to uh, uh, lunch time so if time is uh, more than or equals to 12 and time is less than or equals to 13 let's print uh, lunch time and our last uh, condition will be for uh, dinner time so if time is more than or equals to uh, 18 and if time is less than or equals to 19 let's print dinner time we will not add an else uh, because uh, the problem mentioned that we will not print anything if it's not uh, a meal time so let's see now if our program will work let's also type 4 30 this should return nothing or print nothing so yeah that's correct uh, let's now test every uh, meal time so let's see if 7 will print us breakfast time okay great let's see if 8 will also print breakfast time okay let's see if uh, 7 30 which is between the two times so yeah this should also print breakfast time and let's do the same for lunch time so if it's 12 great if it's 13 okay let's see if it's 12 30 or well, let's use 20 this time okay it's also working uh, let's now test uh, the dinner time so 18 okay dinner time great let's see 19 it's also working let's test 18 10 yeah and it's also working so yeah we uh, uh, we tested uh, actually like every case possible for our program but let's also use check 50 just to make uh, sure that uh, every test is is passed so yeah so yeah as you can see we uh, passed every test here so yeah that's uh, great and that was today's video so thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time